Okay, good morning everyone. Thank you so much for being with us. We are here to celebrate in Hacktoberfest 2022. I am Ajit Singh Rana and I'm part of DevRel team at Docker. I am based out of Bangalore. This year, Docker is celebrating Hacktoberfest event and we would like to invite you to celebrate Hacktoberfest with us and contribute to Docker community extensions. I'm going to spend another 10 to 15 minutes time with you all to brief you about what extension is all about and why you should really care about it. Now, if you have been a part of Docker community, I'm sure that you know that uh, Docker provides the necessary components and tooling that um, helps uh, developers build and ship their applications so that you can run it anywhere. In the last few years, Docker has focused more on the developer tools and not just as a DevOps uh, tool, right? There are more than around 13 million Docker developers worldwide who has downloaded the containers component. And with these over 13 million active developers and more than 13 billion downloads, uh, the image pools per month, we have got you covered. Docker is number one uh, most wanted and most loved developer tools. Now, as you browse through uh, the Docker hub and click on explore on the top navigation, you will see that there are four types of images. The first is the base image. So base image is used to create all your container images. Your base image can be an official Docker image such as CentOS or Ubuntu or Alpine, or you can modify an official Docker image to suit your needs. Then the next type of images are the full-fledged application images, which holds basically your base image as well as the project source code. The next is Docker plugins. There are different categories of uh, Docker plugins, one for volume, one for networking, which could be a network drivers or volume drivers. And then in the last DockerCon, we introduced a new kind of image called as extension image. Now, extensions are basically how you integrate uh, your third party tool to the Docker desktop. So let's spend some time to understand what these images are all about. Now, let us agree to the fact that it takes a lot of time and tools to develop microservices application and these tools are basically a decentralized in nature. It becomes uh, it becomes so difficult to go ahead and install it, manage it and use them, right? So with Docker extensions, what happened that we are integrating a developer tools right into a Docker desktop. These images are built using a Docker extension and this is uh, Docker extension is one of the features which you can see under the Docker dashboard. Now, uh, when you use these third party tools and when you integrate with Docker desktop uh, as part of Docker extension, then basically it helps you to extend those functionalities. It also helps you to boost uh, the Docker desktop capabilities by integrating an array of developer tools. Uh, with this extension, basically we do have an extension SDK, which is open source and it is quite available. So at the end of this presentation, I will get you the link where you will see all those SDK related documentation available in our official doc site. Now, if you, uh, if you are really interested uh, to get started with extension and if you are a developer, uh, let me tell you that the learning curve is not that steepery. Okay, if you have worked on React and TypeScript, you can build extension in few hours. Now, looking at the overall project structure, uh, we have, as expected, we have a front end and the back end, right? And the, the UI tab, which you had, basically it adds a tab to your dashboard in Docker desktop. And then a VM section is all about your backend service, which runs inside uh, desktop VM. So it is pretty straightforward. At the same time, we have a metadata.json, uh, which describes basically the content of your extension. So if you look at each of the extension, by looking at the code itself, you can identify whether it is extension or a generic, um, you know, the application. Now, coming to the point that we are here for Hacktoberfest and we are inviting all the community to come and uh, contribute their extension. Now, there are multiple ways uh, how you can go ahead and contribute it. The first thing is either you can go ahead and build some kind of an extension from the scratch and you can get it added to the list of our repository, uh, which we are, I'm going to showcase in just two or three minutes. or what you can do, you can pick up any existing tools uh, which you think is super cool and then uh, then go ahead and, uh, you know, try to add it to the list. Okay. 
so uh, to show you uh, how it works that but before that let us look at uh, the few of the guidelines which you need to follow the first thing is this extension which you are building must must uh, solve some kind of a pain point for the developers so it should not be like you should not pick up some of the apl uh, application which is like a quite old and you are not able to contribute the second thing is we don't want you to go ahead and do uh, you know create an extension which is a production ready we don't want to do it uh, if you have any a very minimalistic functionality up and working i think that it, that should be uh, more than enough so it could be a kind of a poc or some kind of an idea now let me take you through a few of uh, the things uh, the first thing is uh, this is basically an october october fest uh, web page which we have created or the docker team has created and then uh, it lists you um, everything you know want to know about the sdk so let me click on sdks you can see here it points to uh, docker docs and you can see that uh, you can find all the resources which helps you to get created your own extension uh, apart from that, it this page has each and everything, how you download Docker desktop, how you participate with Docker. Uh, there are a few of the very uh, interesting and exciting blogs uh, written by the Docker team, uh, which, which takes you, you know, it walks through all those, uh, how to create an extension, how to initialize it, and then talks about the directory structure this is what i was talking about the ui directory vm directory and what goes inside it uh, the react page the go backend services and all and then how you go ahead and install it right at the same time uh, if you really want to go ahead and see all the available repositories uh, so these are the ones these are the list of docker extensions uh, right now if you see uh, we have a couple of the new ones like parsable middleware and the api azure pipelines kubescape so these are uh, the extensions ideas which has been provided at the same time um, there are developers who are currently working on it so i can you can click on few of them and see like what is happening around it so if i click on parsable you can see here uh, recent like one hour ago there was like a minimal front-end uh, code which was pushed for it so these are like very active uh, repositories in the same way if you think like there are certain ideas which you can publish you don't want to work yourself but you want other developers to get some ideas so there are a list of suggestions so recently we added uh, cakes here and then we dive tool mongo express so these are the ones which you might be interested to go ahead and build it we have all these instructions here how to build your first instructions uh, first extension uh, there are a couple of videos which you can go through uh, how to build your docker extension creating from scratch and and then we have a support and community so if you are building some extension and you face some kind of a problem we do have a community forum where you can go ahead and post your queries and there are a few of the references uh, I'm sure this is uh, this is really interesting and uh, by the way we are uh, conducting so if you go scroll down uh, talking about swags we are going to reveal the swags in a day or two so definitely docker always comes with a unique kind of a swag so one swag which you get when you raise a 4 PR and get it merged uh, that you get from from digital ocean but these are the separately a swags which is sent to you once you contribute these extensions at the same time one of the most important thing which i want to share is we do have an event which we are conducting um, this october 22nd in bangalore uh, this will be a kind of a show and tell uh, event where all those speakers or all those developers who has um, created an extension can come and showcase so right now we are close to around 118 rsvps which is going to increase because we still have days i'm expecting around 150 to 200 people but this is one of the most exciting stuff which you can get involved into so i will be posting links in the youtube description uh, go ahead and check it out uh, definitely i'm looking forward to your contribution thank you